Hello, welcome and namaskar. Time series analysis, non-linear trend. And now we are going to discuss exponential trend. The standard equation is y equals to a into b raised to x. a into b raised to x. The x time element is in power. And that's why this is called the exponential trend. The standard equation of exponential trend is y or estimated value of y equals to a into b raised to x. If we use logarithm, this can be converted into a linear equation, and that will be the easiest possible way to find the trend for any time series. It will be log y equals to log a plus. In case of logarithm. There will be addition instead of multiplication. X will be a cofactor or multiplier will become cofactor or multiplier from the power x log b. This will be the linear form. And now we are going to use some signs because this is very lengthy in writing. So let's say that. Capital Y equals to small a plus small b into x, where capital Y equals to log y. Capital, sorry, not capital. Small a equals to log capital A, and small b equals to log capital B. Okay, now. Let's take a case because now the process of solving this becomes very easy as we have converted into in linear equation. On the basis of this, how can we solve the problem? It is similar to finding a linear trend. We need to find out values of a and b, both the constants. And for that purpose, we use this linear form of standard equation to get the normal equations. That means the formula to find a and b. The first normal equation will be let's get the summations. So the first normal equation will be sigma y equals to a n a plus b sigma x. And second equation will be just multiply this first normal equation by x. So it will be sigma x y equals to n sigma a plus b sigma x square. Let's take a case, and I'm going to write everything on this side first, and the time series with us is year 2012. 2013, 2014, 2015, and 2016. Odd number of years. The points of odd number of years and even number of years remain same. 2014, the middle year will become the origin. But first of all, we are interested in the value that is price in this case, and that becomes y for us. Okay. And that is given to be 1.6, 4.5 in the year 2013, 13.8 in the year 2014, 14.2 in the year 2015, and 125 in the year 2016. It looks like some price of any share of a company. Whatever the case may be. Yes. What is capital A? It is log or logarithmic value of Y. So let's take logarithmic values because we need the summations of logarithmic value. Here, these are single digits before the sign of decimal, so there will be zero. Here, there are two digits before the sign of decimal. Two minus one is one. Here also, two minus one is one. There are three places, rather three digits before the decimal sign, so two point. Now, how to determine the logarithmic value of all these? 
Now forget the decimal values out of all this. After writing this, forget the decimal values from the original values. It will be something like 16, 45, 138, 402, 1250 or so. Consider them as digits only. Now take the log table. Find out 16 and nothing after 16. So you have to see the value in the column with 0. 16 in the row and 0 in the column. 16, 0. The point of intersection of 16 in row and 0 in column. That is 2041. Similarly, 45 and 0 because nothing after 45. Forget decimal now after writing these values. Okay, 45 and 0. Find out the row of 45. And again, select the point value on the point of intersection of 45 in row and 0 in column. And that is 6532. Be careful at the time of finding and writing the logarithmic value, please. Now 13 and 8. Find out the row of 13 in the log table. Row of 13 and column of 8. And find the point of intersection of row of 13 and column of 8. And that is 1399. So this is 1.1399, the logarithmic value of 13.8. Yes, 40 and 2. Find out the row of 40. Find out the column of 2. And find out the point of intersection. The value at the point of intersection. Row of 40 and column of 2. And that is 6042. And the last is 1250. Okay, 4 digits. Be careful. Find out the row of 12. Find out the column of 5 first of all. And find out the point of intersection of row of 12 and column of 5. And then add the number again in the column of 0 in the mean difference. If there is nothing, it is to be taken as 0. So, ultimately, we get 0, 9, 6, 9. First, find out column of, row of 12, find out column of 5, get the value at the intersection point of row of 12 and column of 5. Then, find out the column of 0 in mean difference. There will be no column of 0 in mean difference. So, the mean difference will be taken as 0. So, 0, 9, 6, 9 is at the point of intersection of row of 12 and column of 5 and mean difference is 0 so it is written here and the summation of this is 5.6983 this is sigma capital Y for us that is actually log Y sigma log Y other. now we need X the same process Origin is middle year in case of odd number of years that is 2014 year and X is year minus origin minus interval in case of odd number of years and half of interval in case of even number of years. Again I repeat this is done in most of the reference books mm -hmm. on statistics in India and Indian subcontinent and many countries in Asia that's why I am doing this. You can do without this kind of change of scale also. Okay. For the year 2012, X will be 2012 minus 2014 divided by interval of 1. So it comes to minus 2. Minus 2. Similarly, 2013 minus 2014 gives us minus 1. In the year of origin, in case of odd number of years, the X is 0, 1 and 2. Positive 3, negative 3, 0, x, sigma x should always be 0. And x into y, x into y, logarithmic values of y are multiplied by x. Minus 2 into 0 0.2041 will be minus 0 0.4082. This will remain as it is but negative point. 6, 5, 3, 2, but negative 0, this will remain as it is 1.6042 
and 2.0969 into 2 will be 4.1938 and the summation of this is 4.7366 sigma xy and the last column is x square remember the method of or technique of or process of finding the linear thread in, uh, except the logarithmic values the process is same x square 41014 4 plus 1 5 plus 5 is 10 sigma x square so now we have all the required summations so we can go for finding the values of a and b let's find out values of a and b to find the value of a we have to use the first normal equation yes that is sigma y that is sigma log y actually equals to n a plus b sigma x therefore sigma y is 5.6983 n is 5, 5a five plus b into 0. Therefore, now we can say that ultimately 5a equals to 5.6983. Therefore, a equals to 1.1387. Okay. Now we know that a equals to actually logarithmic a. So if we want to find out value of original a, it will be nt log of a. That will be nt log of 1.1387. One now find out the page or table of anti-logarithm in your booklet and find out the anti-log of this value it is 1 3 7 9 yes find out the column of 11 rather row of 11 column of 3 first of all find out the value at the point of intersection of row 11 and column 3 then we have to round it off to 9 from 8 because the next number is greater than 5 so we will treat this as 11 rather 1 1 3 9 ignore the decimal 11 3 and add the mean difference of 8 so ultimately it comes to 1 3 7 9 now before the decimal sign what is the value not the number of digits what is the value it is 1 add 1 to it it becomes 2 so the decimal place will be after 2 digits so ultimately it comes to 13.79 capital A which is part of our standard equation capital A now from this we have already derived the second equation sigma xy equals to A sigma x plus b sigma x square let's substitute the values 4.7366 equals to a into 0 plus b into 10 therefore 10b equals to 4.7366 therefore b equals to 0.4736 that is equivalent to 0 0.43 sorry 4737 Okay. Now what? Again, we know that B is actually log capital B. Therefore, capital B will be anti log of small b. That is anti log of 0.4737. Yes. Okay. And that will be again find out the page of anti logarithm in your booklet. Yes. Find out 47. Rather row 47, column of 3, 
first of all find out the value select the value of point uh, value at the point of intersection of row of 47 and column of 3 and then add the mean difference in the column of 7 against the row of 47 the final value comes to 2977 okay now what what is the value before the sign of decimal point it is zero not number of digits we need to consider the value it is zero add one into it zero plus one one so after the first digit the sign of decimal will come so ultimately b is 2.97 now the standard form of the exponential trend is estimated value of y equals to a into b raised to x that means estimated value of y is in this case 13.79 into 2.977 raised to x this is the exponential trend for this time series somewhat complicated but not that much as it looks ok now what let's find out the trend values or let's find out estimated value for a future year and I leave it to you to find out trend values of all these five years as I have done it in the previous lectures also so estimate for 2017 for that purpose x will be 2017 minus 2014 therefore x is 3 so it will be 13.79 multiplied by 2.977 raised to 3 and that will be 13.79 multiplied by 2.977 raised to 3 will be 26.38 you can use your calculator for this purpose and therefore estimated value of y for the year 2017 is equivalent to 13.79 into 26.38 that comes to 363.83 exponential trend for the time series having 5 that means odd number of years we use the logarithms so to solve this kind of problem please keep a good calculator and a booklet having the logarithm and anti-logarithm tables with you then only you can solve this kind of problem we are going to discuss another problem by this method also that's it for now thank you